The ERAD PAX Volume Rendering Tool is a plug-in module for generating 3D volumes from 2D datasets. The rendered volume is primarily controlled by combining three components, Display Orientation, Projection Mode, and Reconstruction Mode. Display Orientation allows the user to control what alignment is applied to the volume with axial, sagittal, and coronal presets. Projection modes include direct volume rendering, maximum intensity projection, otherwise known as MIP, and array sum average projection. Reconstruction modes include full, thick slab, and planar. Your server will need to be licensed and user account enabled in order to use the 3D plugin. To access the plugin, navigate to the post processing option in your viewer's top menu and select volume 3D. Select the reconstruction option you wish to apply. Before we get into the details of how the plugin is used, let's take a moment to review the plugin frame's layout. Pixel value is displayed in the top left corner and correlates to the cursor placement. The applied reconstruction mode is displayed in the top right corner. An orientation cube will always be displayed in the bottom left corner of the frame. The plugin's toolbar is located at the bottom of the frame by default, but it can be undocked and relocated. Display orientation can be controlled in multiple ways. Click the orientation preset icons on the plugin toolbar. Options are axial, coronal, and sagittal. These orientation presets can also be invoked with keyboard shortcuts. A for axial, C for coronal, and S for sagittal. Manual rotation and oblique angles can be achieved by holding shift on the keyboard and doing a left mouse button drag over the image. Available projection modes are direct volume rendering or DVR, Maximum Intensity Projection, or MIP, and Raysum Average Projection. Each option has its own icon on the toolbar as well as a keyboard shortcut. This is the DVR icon, and its keyboard shortcut is the letter D. DVR displays the image as a fully rendered volume using an applied transfer function. Transfer function presets can be changed by accessing the plugin's right-click context menu selecting DVR transfer function and choosing from the available options. Users can also change their default DVR function from this context menu and enter the transfer function editor to create new or adjust existing presets. You can also access the transfer function editor directly from the toolbar. Please refer to the manual for additional options and details. This is the MIP toolbar icon. Its keyboard shortcut is the letter M. MIP displays the data as a maximum intensity projection. Pseudo color schemes can be applied to MIP projections. To change the pseudo color scheme, access the right click context menu, click pseudo coloring, and select from the available presets. Defaults can also be configured from this menu. This is the Ray Sum Average Projection icon. Its keyboard shortcut is the letter V. Ray Sum Average displays the data as an average intensity projection. Reconstruction modes can also be controlled via the toolbar and keyboard shortcuts. This is the full reconstruction icon. Its keyboard shortcut is the letter F. Full reconstruction mode renders the data as a three-dimensional volume. This mode is commonly applied with the DVR projection mode. This is the thick slab reconstruction icon. Its keyboard shortcut is the letter T. Thick slab reconstructs the data using the defined slab thickness. Slab thickness can be changed with keyboard shortcuts. Top row number keys one through seven can change slab thickness from 1 to 20 millimeter thick slabs. To define a custom slab thickness, 
hold shift on the keyboard and drag the middle mouse button. To scroll through the stacked volume, use your mouse wheel or left click and drag along the lateral borders of the image frame. The cursor will change to signify when you are over the designated area. This is the planar reconstruction icon. Its keyboard shortcut is the letter P. The planar mode reconstructs the data as a two-dimensional planar image. To dynamically zoom the image, press and hold both the left and right mouse buttons and drag the mouse up and down. To pan or reposition the image, press and hold the left mouse button over the image and drag the mouse. To rotate the volume, press and hold shift and left mouse button, then drag the mouse. To adjust the window level, Press and hold the right mouse button, then drag the mouse. To make a linear measurement, select the linear measurement icon from the toolbar. Left click and hold on the starting point, drag and release on the end point. Temporary line measurements are possible by holding the shift key and doing a right mouse click and drag. When you release the right mouse button, the annotation will disappear. To calculate the area in a sphere defined in a three-dimensional space, select the modality value icon from the toolbar. Position the cursor at the center of the sphere, press and hold the left mouse button and drag. Release when desired size is achieved. Area, average pixel, and standard deviation is displayed when completed. To remove an annotation, Right-click on an annotation while the tool is still active to access the Delete Selected and Delete All Context menu items. Click the Annotation Tool icon again to deactivate the tool. The Spyglass tool is used to define a region of interest in which you advance through the volume without affecting the image outside the region. Select the Spyglass icon from the toolbar. Left-click and hold to draw an area of interest. Click and drag the mouse wheel to start the precast. The precast distance is displayed along the spyglass border. Please note this tool can only be applied to volumes rendered in a DVR projection and full reconstruction mode. Please refer to the manual for additional options and details. MagicX is a cross-correlation tool that identifies the same point in all orthogonal images and volumes. To enable the MagicX tool, locate and select the MagicX icon from the main viewer's toolbox toolbar. Press and hold the left mouse button to triangulate a point across volumes and 2D datasets. Drag the mouse while holding the left click button to dynamically triangulate a point of reference. When multiple volumes exist, a quick triangulation can be achieved by holding control and doing a left mouse click. To export a single image from the plugin, select the export image icon from the toolbar. Please note that any annotations applied to the volume will not be part of the exported image. You may apply annotations to the exported image from the main viewer. To export a series, select the export series icon from the toolbar. Set the number of slices and space in between slices, then click OK. Exported images can be saved to the server for permanent storage or attached to the report as a key image. Be sure to visit us at erad.com or contact your ERAD sales channel for more information.